I've got a, I've got a fair few loose ones. I'd never heard of the term heroic dose or ego death when I was in my early 20s, but I took like probably triple a heroic dose and had a fucking full blast ego death that went f- that scared the fuck out of me. It was actually the last time I did a hallucinogenic. It was enough for me. Me, I'd, I, was a, I was a fairly seasoned fucking tripper and me and my mate just one day willy-nilly picked about 300 golden tops and I think a couple of blue meanies snuck in there as well. <laughs> <laughs> and turned those 300 mushrooms into two cups of tea. Jesus so. Christ. It was jiggling like Campbell's can of chunky fucking food. <laughs> <laughs> and I, it tasted just like fucking poison and dirt. And um, I grabbed some ginger concentrate and put it in that because ginger cleanses your whole palate. Mm-hmm. So all I could taste was ginger. And we just went down the hatch and just necked them. And then... Oh, God. Fucking not even five minutes in, I'm sitting on MSN Messenger and fucking letters are coming at me like scrabble blocks out of my fucking screen and shit. And I'm, I'm, start, I'm starting to go into the vortex. It's only five minutes in. And my, oh my, mate, my mate's doing fucking snow angels on my bed and going, <laughs> go on, keep typing, dude. Fuck, it sounds so good. <laughs> <clears throat> and then my mate goes, Yo, isn't your dad coming home? And I go, Oh, fuck. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm like, mate, we're, we're, I'm already fucked and it's only five minutes in. And then I'm like, I don't want to go down the street, though. I can't. We'll get run over by a car or something. I'm fucking yeah. my nut. And then all of a sudden, my, this other mate come round and <clears throat> his head just, like, popped up out of the corner of my bedroom window. And he was like, yo. And I was like, oh, fuck. And I'm, he was okay. like, can you get me some weed, bro? And I was like, yes. Let's get in your car and go. <laughs> <laughs> and then get the fuck out of here. And But that was bad. Yeah. Going oh, fucking yeah, 100k an hour in a car while you're fucking the I'm worst mushroom trip of your life is starting to kick in. <laughs> Everything in my power to try and keep my shit together because I was fucking... It was, it was so powerful, man. I can't even describe to you how fucking powerful it was. And then I got home to... We went back to my mate's house, the one, the other one who was tripping with me. Yeah. And I remember hopping out of the car and seeing about three frames out of about 20 metres. <laughs> Jesus. And I couldn't speak. I couldn't formulate words in my mouth. Yeah. And I was really starting to panic at that point. And I went into my mate's bedroom that was like pitch black in there because he'd like covered up his windows and shit. Mm-hmm. And I remember just caught curling into the fetal position under his under his blankets and I think I might have been in there for about two or three hours in the darkness and <laughs> I, this is when I had an ego death and I left my body and was watching myself from a third person perspective with all these fucking entities hovering around me like DMT level entities <laughs> <clears throat> whispering incoherent gibberish in my ears and shit and um Occasionally, I would get like a, vi- a vision. All I just remember is thinking, I've gone insane, I've gone insane, I've blown my fucking brains for like an hour mm-hmm. straight. I was like on the verge of crying. I thought I'd fucked myself completely. Right. And then I let I let go for a bit and like left my body. And then I come back into my body and I'd occasionally peer out from behind the doona and there was like these Lord of the Rings ring ray fucking things hanging around <laughs> me. And I'd go, Jesus. I go, no thanks, and go back in my little <laughs> cocoon of safety. And then uh, this, I don't know how many fucking hours this went on for, I think about two or three. And then my mate who was just smoking weed, the one that we got weed for, he come in and he's like, oh, you are right, dude? You want to drink water? And I went, I'd fucking love a drink of water right now, bro. Right. And he went and got me a drink of water and I had a drink of water and all of a sudden... I could think lucidly, but everything I looked at was vivid hallucinations, like massive, massive non-stop hallucinations, but my thoughts were clear and I could kind of move. Right. And I was like, oh, wow, I'm liking this now. (laughs) Imagine, like, the peak of an acid trip just non-stop for, like, the next next 10 hours straight. Mm -hmm. 
and like being in ecstasy and feeling like massive dopamine blasts going up and down your spine and just sitting there writhing and then it turns out my other mate had been in the shower for three hours just rubbing <laughs> just rubbing apple shampoo all over himself <laughs> just loving the smell loving it he was just sitting down in the sh- sitting down in the shower just lathering himself in apple scent shampoo just having a, having a blast oh for sure but then when he came out he like um it started to kick take a bad turn for him and he started to really fucking like we out and go bright white and pale and sweat and then his mum decided to come home <laughs> oh that's even worse like when Jeez. you're in the middle of a trip just mm. we, we were trying to act normal and it, <laughs> I don't know how I don't know how she didn't realise we were off our fucking dial. I had yeah. to pull I had to pull my hood over my face because I was smiling like the Cheshire cat. I, yeah. I thought it was fucking hilarious. And my mate couldn't look his mum in the eyes. He was just like staring off into the corner of the room going, Yeah, yeah, and just like fucking he was sweating, he was not having a good time. <laughs> And then I remember the other, my other mate, the one that was not off his blast or off his nut, he handed me a bong, and the bong literally looked like a lava lamp, like, without the, conta- without the like, thing containing it. Like, it just yeah. looked like an amorphous blob moving in my hand. And I tried, I tried to pull a billy, and my mate started laughing. He's like, dude, you're not even lighting it. And I'm like, oh. And so... <laughs> I had the genius idea of finding the cone piece with my thumb by feel because I couldn't see it. <laughs> right, yeah. And then lighting right near where I could feel it at my thumb, and then I ripped a ripped a billy, and I was like, "Oh, right, sweet." I just I couldn't see it at all. Mm-hmm. And my mate had long black hair. This the one that was just smoking weed, and he looked like a full blown like wizard to me, like a warlock. <laughs> yeah. He said I kept staring at him in awe, like, the whole time we were talking to one another. And um, we were watching, like, just TV, and it was just enthralling to me, and I was wrapped myself up in my little fucking blanket of safety, and it was like a fuzzy orange blanket, and it just kept expanding across the whole room. (laughs) (laughs) It was like vines, like, growing, and I was like, yes, loving it. And then... (laughs) It took me so long to get up to go for a piss. And um, I remember I had a moment where reality, like, disappeared around me again and I was in a black void. My mate said I just stood there and with my mouth wide open staring <laughs> at the roof, not responding. <laughs> no. His, like, voice, like, echoed away from me into the distance and he was, like, a, a metre away from me. Damn. And then I come back too, and I was like, "Fuck, that was amazing!" And then I went to go take a piss, and because it was bricks from the floor to the roof, right? The re- repeated pattern like fucks with your brain. This happens with like all fucking psychedelics. If you look at right. something that's a re- repeating ge- geometric shape, it instantly starts to kick your trip in. Yeah. I looked down to piss, and I kept getting taller and taller, and the the toilet bowl kept getting smaller and smaller until I let go of my dick and grabbed the side of the walls and was just going, whoa, and laughing my head off and just kissing it everywhere. I made the biggest mess in the toilet. I just come out of there laughing my head off. And then uh, it just, this went on, shit you not. Like, tea does not normally last long. It lasts for like an hour or two and then you sweat. And this went right. on for like, it went on for like eleven to twelve hours of just spastically intense high, and then it went, you're sober, and I just yeah. peeled myself off off the ground and went, all right, dudes, I'm going home now, and just walked <laughs> home. Okay. Absolutely spent. Was that like your oh, loosest man. moment? Was it? Uh, on psychedelics, yes. Yeah. I've had a few other loose moments. What would be your loosest moment out of everything? I remember I had morphine, sulfate, mogadon, Xanax, Valium, weed, 
And I'm pretty sure at one point I thought it was a good idea to huff paint fumes all at the same time. Jeez. <laughs> and then I jumped on Counter Strike while my mate was holding a bag of paint to my face and still was, <laughs> was still beating people at gun game on Counter Strike while I was uh, hallucinating from the pain. Off your ass. I was, I was dangerously close to being dead. I think. <laughs> I remember, I remember coming out and my mate was like, I'm going to make you something to eat. And I was like, all right. And for some reason, I didn't think that was a bad idea. And then I smelled smoke and I come out. <laughs> Whatever he was cooking was fucking burning on the st- oh, in the, oh, in the saucepan on the oven. And he was yeah. face down, ass up in my pantry, piled out. <laughs> <laughs> before, before, I, before I did anything, I had to take photos of him. <laughs> yeah. And then I got rid of the, took care of the burning, whatever the fuck it was he was trying to cook. It was, it fucking made me laugh so hard. That oh, was that's pretty, good. That was a pretty loose that's, night. Yeah, this, this is pretty good. I've had a few, I've had a few pretty hectic fucking nights. I've had, I remember taking acid and a few of us let a fucking nitrous oxide bottle off in the room and that was actually <laughs> terrifying. It was terrifying actually. <laughs> Everybody was like laughing till it hurt, and then we couldn't laugh. We couldn't stop laughing, even though it hurt. And then we were looking at each other, and we were like, "The acid was just like making it even worse." <laughs> that was that was not a good idea at all. Don't ever recommend that. Back in the day, me and the boys used to get on Xanax a fair bit. One of my mates got hit by a truck while he was on a lot of Xanax and magically what? survived. Oh my god. <laughs> he peeled, peeled himself up off the road. And he oh, had what like, the fuck? He had a broken femur, a broken hip. Jesus. Uh, one whole side of his body was fucked up, and this person didn't even stop. They hit and ran, and they drive away. And when the, oh, cops, found, when the cops found their truck the next morning, it had pieces of my mate on the front of it. What the <laughs> fuck? And um, mm. when my mate got out of hospital... I'll come around to his place to see him and have a smoke, have a bowl with him, and he just had like, like, thirty boxes of oxycodone in his bedroom. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> I was like, "Is that what I think it is?" And he's like, "Yeah, man, you want one?" And I was like, "All right, <laughs> we'll pop it <laughs> and having a smoke." And this older dude come around that we used to get different gear off. And this was like when I was like, I don't know, 19 or something. And he was like, what are you guys doing popping it? And he showed us how to cook it up in a spoon and shoot it up. And yeah, things got, fucking, things got worse from fucking there. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that is usually how that happens. And he was like trying to work at Hungry Jack's the next day. And he thought he was like doing great. But apparently, according to the manager, he was like moving in slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> he was cooked, cooked off his fucking nuts. He's got shit in his house that is like fucking very old, like like statues of Spanish conquistadors from made by Africans that must be like hundreds of years old. And he's got like rum bottles under his house that they used to trade for slaves. Fucking hell! Fucking hell, man! It's all wild shit. Probably got some bad juju. One night, oh was, yeah, for sure. One night I was getting loose with the boys, and I picked up one of these African bong things and ripped a cone out of it. But I was so baked at the time, I didn't clean the thing, and so I inhaled probably some ancestors' fucking <laughs> ashes from like a thousand years ago or something. Probably got some dirty African juju demon inside me right now. <laughs> um, fucking the things you do when you're off your chops. That was disgusting. I coughed my ring out for ages after inhaling all that fucking dust and shit. And so... <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a sc- fucking story. That's good. It but it's worth disgusting. it for the memes, my dude. Oh, yeah. I fucking <laughs> cursed my next fucking... My children's generations for yeah. fucking years to come. We're going to have I mean... fucking bagul hanging around in all the family photos and shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Man, wild times in that house.